Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember Louise Aline, and remember all our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with Saint Basil, and with all the apostles and saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. And so now we pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this year church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wound, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to seek reward, save that of knowing that I do your will. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist, which we have celebrated in memory of your Son, help us to grow in love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. This week is a very special week before Pentecost. It is probably the very first novena celebrated in our church. Jesus said, wait in Jerusalem until the gift of the Holy Spirit, but remain in prayer. When we speak about the novena, this is what we are speaking about, the gift of the Holy Spirit. It's a time for us to keep quiet and wait for the Spirit to enliven our hearts. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Our thanks to Deacon John of St. Emil Parish, St. Vital, Manitoba whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you'd like to sponsor a Mass or share in sponsoring a Mass, please call our office at 1-888-383-6277 for details.